This is a Shields of Shame exclusive. 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 Good morning, Thompson Police Department. Hey, good morning, Thompson Police Department. How you doing this morning? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Hey, um, are you in records by any chance? I am. Okay, so I sent an open records request in for Richard Alexander Russell. He... Okay, you're Mr. Bloom. Yes, sir. I was just reading it. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, all right, good, good. What's your name? Terry. Hey, Terry. I think we I think we talked before about about old uh, Richard Russell. We have. We yeah. Have. Yes, sir. I called and uh, I talked to your chief and and I, I gave him a warning about this guy. So anyway, so is he employed with you guys right now? That's the big question. No, sir. No, he's not. Okay. Um, well, I'm calling because I want to. I thought about the email and the request, and I, I know he probably doesn't have a resignation letter because he was terminated, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there an active investigation on him, uh, an administrative investigation? That part, I'm not sure. I will have to get with the chief. Um, he's got somebody in his office right now. Oh, okay. I got you. So, I still want I, I the... I mean, I want to say no, but I, I just want to verify that with him. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can you tell me the reason why he was terminated? I don't. I've not seen the paperwork, um... I just know it was a lot that went on that day, and it was a very quick, um, very quick process. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, like, I, like I, you know, I, I think I kept my word to you in in uh, in my last request, and I didn't highlight Thompson PD at all, really, in um, some of the coverage from that. And I haven't even po- po- published all of that body cam. And I thank you for that, by the way. And I did all the redactions. So uh, again, thank you for uh, for uh, being transparent, Terry. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. So once once they are terminated, it triggers a post investigation, and Richard Russell just triggered that post investigation. So he's he's not going to escape me now. I've tracked him from Richmond County. I don't know if you know this, but he killed a 23 year old kid named Jermaine Jones, which is why I'm tracking him. She tased this kid, and they beat the hell out of this kid uh, for hours. You know, at that traffic, at that unlawful traffic stop, they were just someone that was passing by where Richard Russell was doing his uh, crazy little DEA fake drug operation, and it was a dad and his uncle and her son, and you know that his son lost his life that night. There was nothing. There was no drugs. He wasn't part of anything Richard Russell was doing. But anyway, going past that, I tracked him to Warrington, where he where he violated an 82 year old grandmother. It, 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 he Richard Russell pulled her grandson over across town and found a little bit of weed on him and he decided to do a full blown search without a warrant on his grandmother's home. I got the video. Now I'm finding out that he's done something really, really bad and I'm gonna get the whole story on it. But I just I just want to, you know, give you a little little background as to why I want the information on him. Um, it's not random. I'm not targeting you guys. I don't care about Thompson Police Department. I don't have any issues with Thompson Police Department. I don't know of anyone who has. So, yeah, it, it's a pretty crazy story, Miss Terry. And uh, but I appreciate you. If you can, uh, anything you can get me on that. Again, you know, I still, I still maintain my word. It's not about you guys. I, I, I'm not going to be blasting. You know, funny thing is, the ones that give me the hard time, those are the ones that I do that to, that I put their police department emblem, their badge, everything all over the video, their names, the picture of the ORC, all of that. You know, it's just ridiculous that here we are with Terry at little bitty small town USA Police Department, has no problem doing her job and being transparent and complying with the Open Records Act in Georgia. But these yes, larger agencies yes, can't. Even the GBI, Terry. I have tri- I have filed complaints with the on the GBI. <laughs> it's wild. But hey, I didn't want to tie up a whole bunch of time. Thank you so much for your uh, for your time and, and and your hard work. I really appreciate you. You're welcome, sir. And we'll we'll get um, this all processed uh, and get it to you. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. You have a good day. Bye bye. All right, bye. You too, sir. Bye-bye. Hey, good morning. How are you? Good morning, fine. Thank you. 
Super, super. Thanks for asking. Hey, I'm just calling to get some uh, in general information. Um, uh -huh. I sent an open records request in, and I, I wanted to call because I didn't want there to be any confusion on it. And I don't know if the uh, open records went to the right person because it doesn't, really, it doesn't really say open records for the email, but it's at pdrecords at harlemga.org and, and F. Yeah, Lewis. that's it. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's the record. That email is specific. Specifically for open records request. Okay. Is there someone available that I can talk to about this request? Um, me. <laughs> oh, okay, great. I am calling to find out very specifically about an individual named Richard Alexander Russell. Russell? Mm-hmm. He is, he, is, he, is, he was a police officer with Thompson Police Department up until, right. I think, last week or so he was terminated. It, but I have already called Thompson PD, and they said he's been terminated over an incident that happened in Columbia County. I've been told that you guys have taken a warrant out for Richard Russell, and I'm just calling to find out if that's true. That is true. That is. And I forwarded that email to Sergeant Harwell uh -huh. just a little while ago. Is, are you Billy Bloom? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I just forwarded that email that I got to Sergeant Hartwell so that he could um, address all your request. Okay. Um, because he did come, Mr. Russell came in yesterday and picked up his open records request with, uh, you know, video of whatever, the body cam footage and all that. So I know we have all that already at hand. Uh, but I did forward it to Sergeant Hartwell so he could um, honor the request. Um, the only, excuse me, the only part that I can do is, as far as honoring that request, is uh, get you the uh, police report. But as far as body cam and all that other stuff, the sergeant would have to retrieve all that information off of the uh, server that they use in the squad room. Okay, all right. So, man, thank you so much. You were so helpful. Hey, uh, by any crazy chin that now when he came up there to request a body cam, was he requesting body cam of... Did he get arrested? Uh, let me... Hold on, let me check. It says this must have yeah. just happened like over the past few days. The incident happened on June 10th. June 10th? Yeah, June 10th. Let me see. The was prohibited new sexuality explicit... Uh, whatever that statute is. 16-11-90. According to the narrative on the police report, he, he wasn't arrested, okay? Um, he was told to take the information down, the post down from social media, and they gave him a certain amount of time. And then um, Harlem received a text message from Russell stating that the entire post had been taken down. It doesn't show where he has been arrested or anything, um, but Sergeant Harwell did take out a warrant on him, and as far as I know, that's the latest information that I have that's been shared with me, you know, because I do work on the records request also. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, so... Now, can I get that... I I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. I don't want to... I don't see... Uh, Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything where he was arrested at the time. He was instructed to take all the information down. The pictures, they were pictures actually of the ex-girlfriend, or the girlfriend at the time who became the ex-girlfriend, and that's why he did what he did. I guess just out of vindictiveness or whatever. Huh. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't show any arrest record. Okay. Now, you said he came up there and got body cam yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. I filled that, uh, he filled that open records request yesterday. What body, you know. Yeah, what body cam is he trying to get, though? Um, I guess the officer's body cam, um, I really don't know, to be honest with you. But on his open records request. Yeah, I'd like to get that open records request and get the same body cam that he's getting. Yeah, I turned over a DVD to him yesterday. Um, I picked everything up yesterday around 3.15. Uh, 
Um, he is posting any and all things that records on file, um, in reference to a prior request that was sent to Harlem regarding body cam footage. Doesn't say exactly what body cam footage, but it could be when they went out to the residence and talked to him. So maybe he's talking about that body cam. And that was that was June tenth. The incident happened June tenth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I would like to get that body cam as well. I didn't. I didn't realize that uh, you guys had body cams until now. Yes, we do. Yes, we ma'am. Only, uh, I think that, I think Columbia County is the only agency that doesn't have that doesn't carry body cams. Well, uh, up in June. Columbia does. Arlen does. Richmond County does. Yeah. 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 I know. I get. I've got body cam from all of them. I've gotten body cam for probably about a hundred counties. And who are you with, Mr. I'm an, I'm an investigative journalist. I've been um, tracking Richard Russell since he killed that 23-year-old kid back in 2021. And here we are. We're here. We're here. And, you know, he's been charged before in Columbia County back in 2012. I got a GBI background report on him. He was charged with aggravated stalking, all kinds of crazy stuff. And all those charges disappeared. They just disappeared. And uh, he became wow. a... Yeah, he became a cop. And um, he's been violating people ever since. I just got his post certification... It's not showing him being terminated on Thompson just yet, but he's resigned and been resigned from Warrington PD, Richmond County, Tech College Services. He's he's got a very long history, and wow. I have been reporting. I can't believe he's a, was a cop. Yeah, he, yeah, you know, he was. With, with, with all that, with all that stuff prior, with all those prior, and then. Putting in for a position in the police department, you would think all that stuff would have come up. You think he was he was charged in 2012. He became a police officer in 2015 with Richmond County with the Tech Services, um, Tech College Pre Services. Then he went to Richmond County. Then he was then he then he was involved in the death of Jermaine Jones. Then he resigned. Then he went to Warrington. And then I got a bunch of his body cam where he was doing pro racial profiling stops on black people late at night. On window tent checks. That's so. That's what he s- systemic. It was consistent. It was a pattern. But when he violated the eighty-two-year-old grandmother, and he tricked the judge into signing a warrant, and I called that judge, and I caught the judge in a lie. Richard Russell disappeared from Warrington after that. Then he went to Thompson, and uh, I got a bunch of his body cam because he started back in February. And I got a bunch of his body cam. Same thing, same thing, racial profiling stops. Um, he has a rebel flag screensaver on his phone. I've got that in video. In his body cam, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah, he's that cop. That's the cop we're talking about. So right now, wow. he's... He, he was involved in a, uh, a murder of the Jer- Jermaine Jones? Yes, say? ma'am. He, uh, he was doing a drug. Him, Jerry Martinez, and Christopher Brown, all Richmond County Sheriff's Office deputies, we're doing a drug operation in an apartment complex off of, of, by Highland Road. And Jermaine Jones, his father, and his uncle were going to replace a tire on the flat. He had a flat tire on his Impala at the gas station. And they had the, the tire in the back of the Tahoe. And they were just driving by the apartment complex casually. Richard Russell seen him, and he thought that that was his drug guy. So he sent Christopher Brown to do an unlawful stop. On a covered tag, which the tag was covered by a transparent plate, by the way. You can see the tag very clearly. It's almost as if it wasn't there. Pulled him over on that pretextual stop and uh, detained them until the K-9 unit showed up. K-9 unit showed up, sniffed the truck. And, the, and uh, Laurel Hucko, the K-9 operator, said the dog hit, but the dog didn't hit. I have all of the body cam. It took me a year to get that body cam from the GBI. So what once... All the cops got on scene. They started pulling them out of the truck. Once they got to Jermaine Jones, Jermaine Jones in the back seat. They pulled him out. Jermaine Jones, 23 years old. 23 years old. Very young fellow. And uh, they sat him down on the curb. For whatever reason, Jermaine jumped up, had a knee-jerk reaction, and took off. I understand. At that time, Jermaine Jones had not broken any laws at all. None of them have. So, right. but, you know, he, he, he had a knee-jerk reaction jump, and Richard Russell immediately tased him in the back, in the spine. Richard Russell was standing behind him the whole time with his taser in his hand, ready to go. 
because that's what Richard Russell does. He's ready to tase. So he tased Jermaine Jones, and they all tackled Jones to the ground. They all got licks in on him. It's all on body cam. He got to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, Leslie Gator was transporting him. You can hear Jermaine Jones in the back seat, whimpering, breathing his last breaths. Leslie Gator stops the car on the side of the road and tells him to shut up. Gets back in the car, drives to the hospital. They beat him some more at the hospital. Jermaine Jones fell into a he fell into a coma and died. Richard Russell resigned from the Richmond County Sheriff's Office. The rest of the, them still work there. So, I'm sorry. What is your name? <laughs> Lloyda. Lloyda. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. My name's Billy. So that's that's why me and you are talking right now because I've been tracking him through a Georgia Post certification, through his body cam, through all the agencies he's worked for. I know he hasn't worked for you guys. Richard Russell is is um is a very dangerous individual, you know, and that needs to be taken seriously, and that's why I'm calling, because the chief really does need to understand. This is not about the Harlem Police Department, okay? But that can change gears really quick. Um, I just want the information, all of it, on what's going on with Richard Russell. As far as open records goes, you know, I understand there's exemptions, but, you know, as far as criminal goes, there can be exemptions on that. But there can never be exemptions on Garrity or administrative interviews mm-hmm. or investigations. Only, only criminal, not civil, not Garrity, not not a policy or administrative. Right. Yeah. So th- th- that's really all I'm interested in. I mean, if I can get the the arrest warrant, that'd be great. I'd really like to have that. Um, but yeah, well, that's. Listen, I followed your email, uh-huh. and I didn't know who you were with at the time. Right. So I uh, looked at your just completely forward the email to Sergeant Harwell so that he could address it uh, or get with me and, and tell me, what, you know, what to do with it mm-hmm. or give me what I, you know, what you need off of that request. Yes, ma'am. That's available. Um, and as soon as he comes in, um, I guess I'll get with him and figure out, you know, what he can uh, give me because I know yesterday, um, I, feel, I fulfilled the request from Mr. Russell. Okay. And he got some kind of body cam footage. Right. And tell Mr. Hartwell, if you don't mind, tell him that I would also like the exact same request that Richard Russell received. I want the request that was on that DVD that Richard Russell received. Um, so if you can add that to my request, that would be fantastic. And again, again, Ms. Lloyd, this is not about the Harlem Police Department. I, listen, I can care less about the Harlem Police Department. You're like a private, you're a, a private investigator. You're like, I'm, is that I, what you said you? I, I, oh, okay. I expose police misconduct. That's the kind of stuff I report. I'm not the news. I'm not a news agency. I'm an independent journalist. Uh-huh. I don't work for anyone. I'm not into politics. I can care less about who the president is. I'm not interested. The only thing I'm interested in is police misconduct. Because police killed my dad in 1975, and I know that the dangers are real, and I know they're there and they're present, and uh, that's what I do, Miss Lloyd. I'm 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 not interested in in um, painting, you know, a, sh- a, a, a shadow over the Harlem Police Department, and, and that's not what I'm about. Yeah, I'm I'm it's solely about Richard Russell. and uh, that's all it's about. It's um, now sometimes, like I said, it's sometimes it's more than that. But you've been very helpful, and I really appreciate you. And, and so was Miss uh, Terry at Thompson PD. But I don't always get that, Miss Lloyd. I usually get resistance, prior restraint, yeah. violations of the open records laws, um, you name it. I actually had a court clerk tell me the other day that in order for me to get open records, I need to have a um, what they call a notarized letter. And once I told her that was a lie, she complied. Yeah. She sent me what I wanted. Uh, but, but, you know, here we are today um, talking about a, a, a dangerous cop, Miss Lodian. Yeah. Um, what, is your, what is your number so I can get Sergeant Harper to give you a call? Okay. All right. Well, I will give this. Like I said, I follow you on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to make sure that I get with you and get that information out to you. Okay. Because I know you're very busy. Okay. And I'm going to make sure that I get with you and get that information out to you. Okay. Great. And, Sound, sounds good. And, and that way you can specifically... 
let him know exactly what you're looking for. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Okay, great. Sounds good. Thank you, Miss Lloydie. All right. You're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.